Oh, you're on? Yeah. Okay, uh, you got a view of the river? Yeah. All right, folks, um, we're about to do a little mission here, float tube mission, Liam and I, and we're uh, cruising into downtown Wichita here, and you can see the big Arkansas River flows right into downtown here, and we're coming upon downtown, and there's a, a dam up here. It gets hit heavily, but this time of year in the later fall, a lot of people quit fishing and there's always a few fish left behind so we're gonna see we haven't fished this dam all year we're gonna see um, if the people if the if the if the meat hogs left any <laughs> flatheads for us there's a lot of meat hogs in Wichita uh, we have to work real hard to find these fish a lot of times um, but we're gonna we're gonna come up upon this dam here here's downtown Wichita right here and we're getting real close to the spot and uh, we'll be back in just a few. We'll show you the layout of it and show you our plan of attack and how we're gonna attack this thing. All right. Okay, folks, we've made it to our destination. Uh, you can see behind me, we got the uh, dam on the little Arkansas and then it comes into this chute and flows into the big Arkansas right down there. So we are gonna work those falls and we're going to uh, attack it by uh, we're going to creep the float tubes and just work that whole face of those falls if there's any active feeders right now um, that's usually where they're at man they get right up against the face of that stuff they love sitting in there so um, real quick i just uh, uh it's cold enough this time of season um getting into october we've got our wetsuits on um I don't need the seven millimeter booties yet. I just have socks on under my shoes, but here's how easy it is to get in on a float tube. Kick your shoes off, throw them in the back. Throw your flippers on. Boom, let's do this. Okay, folks, uh, we've come underneath this bridge here. Uh, see the pilings? Show the pilings. Okay, we, we've jigged along some of these pilings on our, on our way through here. And now we've got this rock edge right over here, and uh, I'm going to jig these rocks and creep along them, and then we're going to work the falls. Uh, you won't be able to hear us anymore, but I'm sure he'll film me uh, working those falls a little bit. Um, I've just, I've, it's kind of murky water, so I've got a chatterbait on. It's murky. I've got some lime green chartreuse. I've got an orange up top. Uh, they can see that a lot better in the murky conditions. The chatterbait's gonna make these things shake, uh, putting off more vibration. I've got them scented up, of course, and uh, here we go. I'm, we're gonna cruise this rock line over here. Liam, you can follow me for a minute. And, and uh, this is about five, six feet out here, and about three, four foot just, uh, just off those rocks. So I'm gonna set my jigs at about three, three foot from my rod tip and I'm going to creep along and see if there's any along these rocks on this edge line and then we'll hit the falls. <laughs> so, I'm just giving that a pop pop up, letting that chatterbait chime them and then a little flutter back down as I creep along here. I'm going to turn the tube so I can just come right down this bank line. Sometimes you get right up next to the edge of the rocks as you get down them. And there's 
and sometimes you want to come out here a little farther off the, where the rock line actually uh, peters out there the, where the rocks end. So you, you just kind of cover the full swath as your as your bird would hit you. So when you get out here a little bit deeper off those rocks, I'm going to let out a little more line. But I'm still going to vertical take. It's nice and slow. And it doesn't always have to be vertical jig. You can give them a little pitch up to the rocks and then bounce it down that line. Okay, we're going to kill it until we get up to the pole. All right. <laughs> okay, we uh, we got down to about the almost to the middle of the dam, and of course, like usual in Wichita, uh, you'll run into a ton of limb lines hanging everywhere, and look where we got tangled in here. This one, yep, yeah, right around the flippers. There's a big ass trout line going all the way through this whole channel. Anyway, we're going to try to clean it up and get this crap out of here. Very hard to paddle. Are you not going to get up in the falls right there? 
Now that's flathead heaven right there. If you're wondering why I'm moving around so much, it's because of this backflow current. Okay, folks, um, we've been jigging the crap out of this for about an hour and a half. Uh, that's very limited time to catch a flathead. We haven't scored yet. I had one gar on, and he uh, I had a jerk bait on the back of the chatterbait like that, but the gar was only on for a couple seconds, and he pulled my jerk bait off. That's been the only action so far. Um, I didn't talk about the weather uh, beforehand, but you can see behind me there, we got a major front coming through Wichita. Uh, we're seeing some lightning coming in, so we're going to have to wrap this up. It's, um, that's artificial flatheading for you. you. You don't score every time, especially not in an hour and a half. Uh, you just, wherever you feel confident that there are flatheads, you feel good about it, you just keep going back. you got to put your time in, keep working it, jig every cornerstone, every ambush point. Um, just work it all work it all over and go through it again and again and again eventually you run into one uh, that lightning's coming we're, 
we're gonna jig the face of the dam one more time and maybe score. We didn't get here pre-front, which would have been primo. We could have got here a couple hours before, uh, but this was moving in right as we got here tonight. So I don't know, these fish might have already fed. We're gonna give it one more shot. And um, thanks for watching, folks, man. We'll get them next time. Okay, folks, we're gonna have to take a skunk tonight. Uh, it's getting pretty bad out here. And the uh, lightning's uh, been coming pretty good. We, we're gonna get be smart about this and get out of here and we'll see you on the next journey.